Alrighty, I am watching Hazard. Rockstar's major problem with new Red Dead Online Naturalist update, RDR2. I'd like to rewind and capture one specific moment that I can point to and go yada 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 about. Where is it? Right here, maybe? Leave this game, and it's worse for some over others, of course, but way too many players have trouble with connection for this to just be an issue with the user or the user. Yes! Way too many people having trouble with connection. Do you know why that is, Mr. Hazard? It's simple. All the lockdown orders and all the people staying indoors, getting online, using the internet. The internet doesn't have infinite bandwidth, mind you. So everyone using it as excessively as it's being used now means... Dun, da, da, dun, connection throttling! Or what you quantify as lag. I don't know how much more simple it, I, simple I can make it. Simple it. <laughs> Simplified. <clears throat> Basically, it's like putting water through a pipe. That pipe has a certain diameter. And the flow rate is based on diameter and the pressure at which the water is put through the pipe. Flow rating. Similar setup with the internet. Because the game servers, Microsoft servers, proprietary dedicated game servers from each individual IP or internet port are using the, the publicly accessible internet instead of a uh, compartmentalized internet that is separate from the standard one that everyone is going on these days. People ordering food from Amazon Pantry. People looking up uh, yada 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 yada. I could I could exposition that, but that that would eat too much time. To put it simply, more people now are using the internet than before. So the bandwidth that is available is being riddled with requests from people jumping on to do things. I want to watch a YouTube video. It sends the request out on the line. On on the onto the servers. Gets rerouted a few times, goes back to the yada yada yada. What I'm saying here is simply that the entire world would benefit from compartmentalizing the standard internet and the networks that you use for gaming. Yeah, I know it's a lot of money to set up, but if you're using a dedicated line and dedicated hardware, and dedicated software that connects only to the gaming servers and it's completely hardware and software compartmentalized or isolated if you want to use that term from the regular internet then you won't be experiencing so many issues they'll decrease depending on how many people are gaming there's a lot of technical mumbo jumbo I could go over, but I don't even know the full extent of the the knowledge I, I would need to randomly expositionally onslaught your ears with this information because I don't have all of it. I do know that what's happening shows how fragile the system in place is because it wasn't made with foresight into what happens if we have 10 billion people using the internet all at once it was made as a way to communicate there wasn't foresight put into what happens if this situation or that situation because 
well, the people making it back then, what was it, the 1980s when the internet first came out? Yeah. It was kind of a luxury item back then, wasn't it? Like the original cell phones. So, it all got lumped together. Streaming services recently cropping up. Yeah, that's going to severely eat your bandwidth. Or the amount of information you can move from one point to the other. With all that information going through one type of line, it, it can't handle it constantly at these levels that it's going at. So there's where a lot of connection issues are coming from. There's where a lot of, uh, a lot of, oh, I'm paying for this much bandwidth, but it's getting throttled to fucking kilobytes a second come from. Everyone's using the internet all at once now. So, Mr. Hazard, there's, there's the thing. There's the thing of it. You need to expand your thought process. You're too one-dimensional. You're focused on this little thing, but this one little thing is affected by a myriad of other little things, and larger things. So, with that being said, the problem is likely not to be solved, but only to degrade and get worse over time because so few people would be willing to contribute to actually fixing the problem. The problem being that I've already explained it, blah, blah, blah. That's enough of me rambling about nonsensical whimsies that aren't going to be fixed. Till next time. Ooh, wow.